In this video, we will introduce you to the concept of uploading to a client's CDE directly from Cabinet. In this example, we will illustrate how OpenTree's on-premise WIP environment, Cabinet, can upload Revit sheets seamlessly into Business Collaborator. The first step to take is to assign the sheet in Revit to Cabinet. One benefit of assigning the sheet is that Cabinet can now automatically update the title block. Notice how it has been correctly completed with key areas being the status, revision and purpose. Now back in the Cabinet client we will send the file for checking. Once our sheet has been checked we will then send for review and approval. This is a background process handled by the workflow servers. Users are notified via email at all workflow transitions. Our final step in this section is to review and approve our sheet. Again, notice how the sheet's metadata has been automatically amended and the title block updated. In this last stage change where we approved the file, Cabinet made an automatic upload into the client's CDE, hosted in Business Collaborator. So to illustrate this, we've switched to the Business Collaborator portal website and we have browsed to the location where our document will appear once the view is refreshed. Our sheet from Revit is available in the file list and you can see its metadata was also imported automatically. When we click the hyperlink document in Business Collaborator, it will download and open the PDF that was automatically uploaded. When we zoom to and review the title block, you can see that the metadata has been completed, or with no user interaction, it was completed by workflow. The change we'll make next is to share the file for information. You can see in the list view that workflow has changed the file stage to shared for information. Cabinet will automatically maintain the change in status through to the client's CDE. If I refresh our view in Business Collaborator, you can see that the metadata has been updated by workflow. And if we click through to the file, you can also see that the history of the document is being maintained. Now, if I review the PDF and zoom to the title block, you can see that the metadata changes have been propagated through from the Cabinet workflow transition. No other user intervention was required. Typically, the last stage in this process would be to publish for construction record, so we'll do this now. Workflow will update our sheet stage, update its title block, generate a PDF, and also update the client's business collaborator system. Back in the Business Collaborator window, I'll refresh our search results. You can see that the metadata changes are complete and our file is showing with a status of CR, Construction Record Documentation. When we click through to the file, notice that the history has been amended again. It's now showing a new entry. And if we review the PDF, the title block is again updated. The status is correctly recorded as CR, its revision has changed from P01 to C01, and the purpose is recorded as construction record. This concludes our brief demonstration on how Cabinet can integrate with your client's systems by way of workflow, driving your BS1192 compliance for delivery.